Hi, and now we're going to make the common loaf. This recipe will make two wonderful, naturally fermented sourdough breads. So firstly, we're just going to bring together 720 grams of organic strong white flour. Then you're going to add 300 grams of fresh organic wholemeal rice starter, the ones we made earlier, and then 480 grams of water. So we're just going to combine all the starter, flour and water at this stage. This is an auto lee stage where we don't add the salt for another half an hour. We're just wetting it all up and this lets the wild yeasts begin feeding. So we're just going to cover it now and wait 30 minutes. So we're back now after our 30 minutes. We're going to uncover our dough and we'll notice how the gluten has started to develop in it. So we're just going to take our salt and we're going to incorporate our salt into it at this stage. Just sprinkle it all in on top and just start mushing it all in. As you do start mushing it in, you'll notice the elasticity of the dough changing. You'll notice how it starts to develop. So just roughly turn it out onto your bench. And as I said, you're just trying to incorporate it all in. Just squash it all into your dough at this stage. It's really good fun. So now you're going to take a bowl, a nicely cleaned bowl, and you're just going to drop of oil into it. And you're just going to place your dough back in that for another half an hour. Try to create a little smooth side up on it. So we can start creating the crust that's going to be on our dough. So we'll come back to this in another 30 minutes. Now, 30 minutes later, and we're back at our dough. And you can see that the wild yeasts have really started working on our dough now. They're really starting to swell up. So we're going to stretch and fold our dough. This technique is going to really help develop the gluten within it and help us get a really nice rise in our loaf. So we use a letter folding technique. We fold it in two thirds and then back a third on top of itself again. You do that two or three times and then the last one turn it over onto itself to create a smooth side back into your clean bowl you cover with your cloth and then we put it aside again for another 30 minutes we repeat this stretch and folding technique four times in total so we're going to repeat it another three times let's back out onto your floured bench and folding it in that letter style 30 minutes after our fourth and final fold, we turn the dough out onto the surface. You can see that it's really developed now. We're going to cut the dough in half and each of these halves is going to make us a loaf of bread. So to round our loaf, you stretch it out slightly. You take a corner, fold it into the center. Take a piece beside that piece, fold that into the center. You're going to make your way right around the loaf, holding in the pieces with your other hand as you fold it into the center. And your last tuck, you're going to turn the whole thing right over and now you're going to try and create a nice smooth taut skin over your dough. You cup your hands together and you drag the dough towards yourself. This creates that smooth taut skin. You're going to re repeat this process with your second piece of dough to create another loaf of bread. So now we're just going to take our two and a half liter Pyrex dishes and we're going to proof our dough in these dishes. We take a clean lint free tea towel liberally dust it with flour put it into the bowl side of the dish you then put your dough into that side and cover it with the lid of the pyrex we set that aside for 90 minutes with our second piece of dough we're going to repeat this process with another pyrex dish this one we're going to keep in our fridge overnight and bake off tomorrow if you don't have a second pyrex you can similarly use a cast iron pot or prove it in a wicker basket and then tomorrow transfer it into your Pyrex dish. On our website, riotride.ie, you can see many of these alternative proofing techniques. After an hour, preheat your oven to 250 degrees centigrade, or about as hot as your oven will go. After 90 minutes, our dough will have proofed and be ready to bake. We remove the lid off it, sprinkle a little more flour on, this will prevent it sticking to the lid as it bakes in the oven. We're going to turn the whole lot upside down now. Remove the bowl part to your dish and gently peel off the tea towel. This will reveal what's going to be the crust of our bread. We take a lame or a sharp blade and you score about four cuts. I like them around three quarters of a centimetre deep. And this will enable the dough to rise beautifully as it bakes in the oven. You put back on the bowl part of your Pyrex. And we're going to put this directly into our preheated oven to bake. 
After about 40 minutes, your loaf should be done and you'll have a wonderfully crusty, naturally fermented sourdough common loaf. Enjoy. Remember, the third time you bake it, do it for someone else.